Okay, Scott Smith from fighthub.com here with Adam Boob and Gary Logan. Um, first, how are you today, guys? Yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. bit, bit funny, bit funny, bit, bit funny. George. Feels funny. Yeah, it does cool. feel funny. Yeah, um, I mean, what, firstly, Gary, what did you make of, uh, of the fight? I, I, had, um, I, had, I had George ahead by a couple of rounds, but it could easily have been two rounds the other way, depending on how you yeah, interpret yeah. it, you know? Um, but I thought he was boxing well, but I did think there was he was the, there was something obvious happening on Carl's behalf. Mm -hmm. he, he looked like he was setting him up for the right hand, yeah. and um, I just really didn't think I, I don't know. I just really thought George wasn't going to get caught with it. I thought as soon as he stepped to his left, he would just immediately exit yeah. to his right, yeah. and he didn't. He just stood there square, and that's all Carl needed. You know, yeah. what a way to end the fight. Yeah, I mean, Adam, starting the fight off, I mean, George was very, very cautious. Well, both members were, were cautious to start the fight off. I mean, George seemed to get the better of the exchanges in the opening rounds, boxing on the back foot, moving Kyle around. But when Kyle seemed to close the gap, he seemed to change, change the course of the fight. From oh, no, that's, that's not, I didn't see the early rounds like that. I saw the early rounds, they were both catching each other with jabs. Mm. Kyle would catch George with the jab when George sat in distance yeah. and didn't move his head off the line, and George was catching Kyle from long distance. Um, George is probably getting caught with too many jabs at the start of the fight, the same as the first fight. Yeah. But this time Carl was a lot more cautious and, and used his experience um, to, to nullify and take the sting out of George's shots yeah. as best he could. Um, but I think the most, the, the, the thing that I noticed right from the first round is how Carl was using that left hook mm. to, to get George occupied on that side. Yeah, yeah. Um, and ultimately it kept bringing George back across until eventually he ended up backed up on the ropes and opened up square as Carl came in mm. Yeah, and, and he landed the main shot. Yeah. How, how, was, how did you score the fight going into the stoppage? I had Carl one up, one up. but it was one of, those, one of those things where it could have been two up either mm. way. Yeah, yeah. George yeah. up two. Um, oh, I did as well. George had some dramatic success, but then Carl would go back and take it away mm. with some shots and, and vice versa. And it was kind of that, it was a very tense affair. Tell you what I was shocked about was the fact that they talked about this left hook and George's legs were always straight when he threw the left hook. There was no, absolutely zero leverage on his left hook that they talked about that it was going to be the, the, sh the money shot. And, yeah. You know, there was, there was nothing about that left hook that made Carl respect it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Carl definitely respected his right hand. But nothing about this left hook that we've seen. I mean, every time Carl steamed into George, George straightened up and tried to throw the left hook, which is, you know, it was surprising. It did surprise me, yeah. considering how much they told us, how much they'd worked on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Adam, um, obviously, obviously uh, George has, has shown a lot of character. Journalistic royalty is walking up. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, George has shown a lot of character to come back from the first fight into this fight straight away. I mean, after a devastating knockout defeat like that, what is the build rebuilding process now for George? Um, that's something he's got to decide. Um, he can decide. He's got to lick his wounds, find his desire and his confidence, mm -hmm. and get back again. You find, you know, find the smarts to correct, mm -hmm. correct the faults that he was making. Yeah, I mean, um, people are suggesting James Gale is next up for for Carl. Um, James has just come on to the stage just and said, stylistically, he's a nightmare for Carl Frotch. How do, you, how do you both assess that? Stylistically, James is a nightmare for anyone. Mm. Make yeah. no mistake about that. Which is why when George fought him, came up with that game plan to try and reverse it back to James. Because if George, at that stage of George, if he'd just gone in and wanted to let his hands go, he would have made it easier for James so to flip the script upside down a little bit and, and become an awkward fighter, mm. which, is, which is what he did. No rhythm. Make no, yeah, make no mistake. Mm. James is difficult for anyone. Yeah.